so we are not in South London and West Chinook. And what we try to do is we actually support each other across the Federation. So the two schools work in tandem with each other. And we share a good practice across the two schools. And I am head at both schools, we've got the same governing body, and we also have staff that work across the two schools as well. So we very much linked together. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely place to work. It's definitely been my top school. We have children here from beyond our catchment area, if you like. So we do have children that come from the Kukan area and over more towards the Oval area as well. So you don't have to be in your catchment area to so come here. And we have children from different ages that work together. We are part of the community, so we run lots of um, PTA events where the community are involved as well. We're also a church school, so we do have a Christian ethos behind us as well to make for the behaviour and the morals. And we also achieve very highly as well. For the last two years, um, we have been, both schools have been in the top ten um, performing primary schools across Somerset. But we also think very much about the holistic aspect of the children, so their well-being as well is very much part of what we do. And we do lots of clubs and activities which encourage children to take part in sports and different activities as well. Yes, so it's actually Nature Club. <laughs> wow, what do you do at Nature Club? We learn about animals and we sometimes make homes for them. I was talking to a young man earlier called Danny and he told me that his favourite thing about the school is the sport. So I do football, hockey, um, what else? Uh, football, hockey, cricket and netball and basketball. Wow. Which is your favourite? Probably football. Yeah. What do you want to do when you grow up? Um... Either be a football player or be like a fireman. They do actually do really well with the sport. So a lot of people, um, particularly at West Chinook, um, if there is a team going, the whole year group or even the whole key stage is in the team. So we don't have a boys team or a girls team, we have everybody's in the team. Which is quite nice because it means that children get involved with things that perhaps in the larger school they wouldn't be able to do. The younger ones, they've got the older ones to look at them, and they've got like, role models if you like. And then the older ones enjoy it because they look after the younger ones. And also they can help the younger ones and in explaining things to the younger ones, they also learn um, about activities in greater depth as well. Do you enjoy the reading tree? Yeah, it's yeah. nice because it's like... It's nice to like understand them and how good they are at reading and just like include your vocabulary and get better at reading. Definitely, definitely. And do you enjoy the reading tree? Yeah. Yeah, what's your favourite bit about it? Um, I like it because when we read around it, it makes me feel happy. Oh, that's fantastic. And are you enjoying your book? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thank you ever so much, guys. It's really nice to meet you. How does the mixed age group work? It works quite well because we've got some year sixes will help the year fives and we've got some year fives will help the year sixes because they have to explain what they're doing and by actually verbalising what they're doing, they can do it better. Fantastic. Brilliant. Well, thank you, Liz, again for having us. It's been really interesting to meet you. Thank you.